Pro Boxing fans here in London for the weigh-in. Done. Anthony Joshua Franklin. Talk to me about that. He looked serious, man. He looked like it was it was fight mode. Yeah, he looks really serious, and he looks big. I think it's the heaviest he's ever weighed in, right? 255 pounds. Looks in unbelievable condition. I think he's coming to be destructive tomorrow night. I think he's coming to do a job on Jermaine Franklin, who came in, what, 23 pound lighter than the Dillian White fight. So he's built for speed and movement, and he's going to have a great engine. It's going to be a dangerous fight, but AJ looks all business and ready to destroy tomorrow night. Still getting appreciated by the fans. We saw the massive turnout today. I saw him getting mobbed just behind there by fans. They're still loving him here. Oh, he's huge. He's always huge. And he's a great guy. And a good performance tomorrow night will only make him even bigger than where he's at right now. And that's what we want. We want to put the division on notice. That this guy has a big future still in the sport. And I'm nervous because there's a lot of pressure on him tomorrow night. You know, But I just want him to go out and do his thing. I know you're nervous, but you're a promoter. You've always got a game plan or a plan for your fighters. Next one for AJ, providing he does what he does and wins in convincing fashion, is who? Depends on the, in the performance, you know, if it's a really great performance and he gets some rounds under his belt, I think he should go straight into the Tyson Fury fight, you know, everything's about timing, there's no mandatory for Fury, both guys don't have a fight scheduled, so, but we'll see, you know, that's been discussed before, Deontay Wilder, if he labours to a win or struggles a little bit, maybe he needs another fight with Derek James, but I think everything, the performance tomorrow night will tell us everything we need to know. A lot of people are talking about this breakdown between Usyk and Fury and a lot of people are saying that Usyk's got many fights ahead. What would be next for Fury then, realistically? I mean, look, the problem is Tyson Fury wants the biggest fights. He wants to make the most money he can. And outside of the undisputed fight, I don't know what that fight is. Crossover with Ngannou, I don't know. But, you know, ultimately, it's the AJ fight. But we need the public to call that fight out. And they will if he looks great tomorrow night. His dad, John Fury, has uh, been talking and said, listen, he needs to get rid of his trainer, Sugar Hill Stewart, because he's not backed him throughout this process, supposedly. What do you make of that? It's quite a surprise, really. I mean, I think Sugar Hill's done a good job, really. I think he's saying he said he said he wasn't here to train Tyson Fury, he's there to train Lawrence Ciccoli or something like that. I don't know. Um, I think Sugar Hill's a great trainer, and I think he's a big asset to Tyson Fury's team. Uh, just uh, last two from myself. Um, Ben Eubank, what's the latest with that? We know there's talks going on. What yeah, no, nothing more than the other day when we spoke. Um, Conor Ben's next fight will be in June. Whether that's against Chris Eubank Jr. or not, we'll decide in the coming days. And with Eubank activating the rematch clause with Liam Smith, I assume that, that them talks are fully off, or is that his backup plan? I think Wasserman um, activated the, the rematch clause to, to protect the fire, but they still need to reach an agreement on the, a deal, apparently, and I don't think they have. And obviously the money for... The Conor Ben fight is much more than the money for the Liam Smith fight, so I guess that would be his preferred option. The final one, uh, Ben Shalom was talking to IFL TV yesterday, and this brought up the question of the Eubank Ben fight, and he said it's a mockery if anyone actually tries to make this fight. Um, whoever is trying to push it is completely wrong, and he's making a mockery of the sport. Well, what do you make of that? Yeah, I mean, look, he's very new. He's new in the game, isn't he? So, he's got some lovely ideas and some real fluffy stuff, and tells a few porky pies, but. Um, you know, it's like a Jack Cattrall situation. You know, boxer uh, breached the agreement, you know, and Jack Cattrall was free. It wasn't. There's no mutual consent anywhere. Ultimately, Jack Cattrall wanted to leave boxer and Sky Sports, as did Shannon Ryan, to come over to us. And there's many more to come. Wicked, Eddie, and thank you very much.